There you go. Be careful with emoji because they are legally binding in Canada. Shouldn't really be too much of a surprise, but it's good to know. Be careful how you emoji in the future. After Canadian judge ruled that sending someone a thumbs up symbol in a message can potentially enter you into a legally binding contract. So even in the U.S., we've had the, the the concept of a verbal contract for a while now. I think this emoji is, um, it, it's basically an extension of that. Like, say you're in a business dealing with someone and they ask, oh, hey, is this is this okay? And you give them the thumbs up. That Yeah, I could see how that could be legally binding. Scary times, man. Be careful with be careful with what you acknowledge, basically. The, the King's Bench for Saskatchewan issued a summary judgment on June 8th that could have serious implications for users of messaging services. While they may not necessarily be seen as serious communications, it's possible for responses to be taken as agreeing to the terms of a contract. Now, how could they tell if the emoji was sarcastic or not? How many times has a friend asked you to do something stupid and you just responded with, yeah, sure, I'll get right on that. Everyone knows you're being sarcastic. But what if you use uh, thumbs up emojis the same way? In a lawsuit between Southwest Terminal and actor Landon Cattle, reports uh, The Guardian, a grain buyer in Southwest Terminal sent mass text messages to clients on March uh, current year minus two, saying the company was willing to buy 86 tons of flax for uh, 1273 per bushel. Farmer Chris Actor spoke to the buyer over the phone about the request. The buyer then sent an image of the contract to Actor about the delivery of the flax in November of that year, asking the farmer to please confirm flax contract in the message. Okay, okay. So, so again, like the the it was a little bit of a misleading title there, but uh, if you're asked to confirm the contract and you give a thumbs up, yeah, you you effectively confirmed the contract. I'm sorry. Like it, it's not like these were two friends just talking shit and one of them viewed a a thumbs up as a an, an unbreakable promise. The actor responded with a thumbs up emoji, and that's where the confusion lies. The farmer claimed in the lawsuit the symbol was intended to mean he had received the contact in the message, while the buyer believed it was the actor was agreeing to the contract. I guess if you want to get anal, if if the thumbs up emoji was confirm the contract, it's not like they said confirm receipt of the contract. It'd be pretty hard to argue that, really. I deny that he accepted the thumbs up emoji as a digital signature for the incomplete contract. The actor told the court, I did not have the time to review the contract. Me wanted to indicate I had received it. Southwest Terminal offered uh, off, offered that there have been previous instances where contacts were handled and agreed upon with the emoji. Oh, it's got precedence too. Nice. The only one because of the confusion, the farmer failed to make the delivery to Southwest. Just as Timothy Keene mentions in, in the ruling uh, that the disagreement on what the emoji meant led to a far-flung search for the equivalent of the Rosetta Stone in cases from Israel, New York, and some tribunals in Canada to unearth uh, what the emoji means. It all depends on what the definition of the word is, is. The court eventually determined that thumbs up emoji is a non-traditional means to sign a document, but nevertheless, under these circumstances, was a valid way to convey the two purposes of a signature. While the affair gives one emoji a legally definable meaning in the in one court of Canada, at least the judge doesn't believe it would open the floodgates to other emojis being interpreted as such legal means. Well, if you're talking about contracts, you've got to be uh, careful regardless. However, uh, he also said the court cannot and shouldn't attempt to stem the tide of technology and common usage of emojis. Yeah, it's it's they should be considered signatures now. Due to the ruling by Justice Keene, actor has been ordered to pay uh, $82,000 uh, Canadian to a Southwest Terminal for failing to fulfill the contract. <laughs> uh, to be fair, they both should have followed up on it, though. 
they didn't do that. It's really on them. 